Hello guys, it's me, Bugsy No Name. <sighs> like I like I normally say, the chaotic mind behind the Big Three Box Network. <clears throat> but um, yeah, it's, this whole chaos and thing is just horrible. I. You know, that's sad because now I know that Justin wasn't the person I thought he was. It's, it's fucking horrible. I really felt bad. I had to see something even equal, more as equally fucked up. So that, I'll probably tell you guys some other time when, when I'm feeling a little bit better. Because it, it was really fucked up what I saw to, to, like, to like pull me back. From all this shit, and it was uh, pretty fucked up. But I'll talk about that later. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me how do I feel. I feel hurt, betrayed. Um, I feel like I feel like you know. You know, it makes me kind of glad I don't have any freaking teenage daughters, for one. But I feel bad for all the victims who were groomed by Justin, and it really fucking, really fucking sucks. It really, it really pain, it really fucking pains me. Because we never really, because we talked once. But we never really talked efficient. We never really talked like we never really had like a full conversation. And it's so fucking. It's so fucking. Like you know, you wonder to yourself. I wondered myself. Like, the worst thing, the worst thing in my life is what is and always will be losing my dad. But the second thing is learning that Justin wasn't the person we thought he was. And we all, you know, we always thought he was so cool and so perfect. And he was so nice. But now we know that that niceness, that that happy little facade was nothing but a ploy. And it just kinda corrupts the memory of how I how I perceive Justin now. You know, he got me into, you know, Common Rider after kind of dropping off of it and also back in the JoJo. Well, in the JoJo, and I really do love that, and I was thinking to myself, should I watch JoJo? Because it's because of Justin. I like it's because of Justin. I even know what JoJo is, and I'm like just sitting there, just contemplating that while I'm listening to the uh, Japanese uh, singers singing all the openings. I'm just saying to myself, no, because I like JoJo and really even. You know, even now, a lot of people have been one, and I was also wondering to myself, should I, should I not do Yonki B anymore on my channel as a character? Because Yonki B was supposed to, like, originally before Justin died, I was actually going to kind of have Yonki, I was going to have Yonki B actually, like, send little messages to, to... Yonki J, and they were gonna have, like, this fucking, I don't know how I'd get this done, but they were gonna have this fucking, uh, just battle, and it was gonna be this, it was gonna be, like, you know, because, because, um, the story with Yonki B, and I guess I should say this, was the fact that Yonki B went to the same school as Yonki J. The exact same school, and he, you know, with you know, he'd hang out with all, he'd hang out with 
Yonki and the others, and you know they are they they were a gang, you know they were a gang of dudes, you know just hanging out. But um, the storyline would have went like they would have fought because because you know Yonki B wanted to prove that he's actually he isn't the same he wasn't the same dude that he was. He wasn't the same dude that he was when they were in school and all that other stuff. And it was going to be really cool, but I never really got the chance to do that because, you know. <sighs> that was Young B's, like, whole thing being a character. And I just said, fuck it, I'm going to make, you know, when Justin died, I was like, fuck it, I'm making him into a, I'm taking, making him into a fully realized character. I really thought to myself, uh, last night, do, do I really... Do I really honestly want to keep doing Young QB? And I'm like, yeah, I want to do Young QB. He's fun. He's enjoyable. And I really like doing his voice, even though I can't find really uh, pin down his actual voice. And he started sounding like me, just a lot more raspier. But I'm still trying to find him a signature voice or something. Something I can, something he can use, but... <sighs> I don't know why I'm talking about that. I want to tell you guys. I really want to tell you guys. I don't condone what Justin did. I think it's horrible. I think it's disgusting. And I think... I think he... I think... I think if he... I think if he wasn't in... I don't think if he... If he wasn't in hell now... If he wasn't in hell... Probably already is. How I feel. I just don't know how I feel about all this, you know. I've been, I was laying in my bed, just sleep, not even dreaming, just processing it all. Also processing what I also saw, which kind of snapped me out of a little sad funk. Am I angry? Yes. But the thing is, I, I've been yelling, I've been crying, I've been doing all this stuff, just rationalizing everything that happened, and, and you know what, I, you know, I don't owe, I don't owe Justin Jack shit, and neither do any of you. Sure, he did a whole bunch of positive stuff for us, but he raped, he raped those girls. Those girls are going to have trust issues for the rest of their lives. They ain't going to want to trust any, but they ain't going to want to trust any dudes or want to open, you know, or get with anybody else because, you know, when that shit happens, it affects people. You know, rape affects people in a number of ways. I know I talk about, like, uh, you know, I always make those big Bob jokes, but. Only because I feel like if you're in prison, you're pretty much already you pretty much already did something so bad to uh, warrant yourself there. So prison rape jokes, I joke prison rape jokes, I joke about a lot, but I think I might pull back on those. I just. It really sucks that the Walkers and Mike don't want to say shit to us, but want to say, oh, we're all just trying to leech off of them. Fuck y'all. They're not trying to leech off of you guys. You hit a sexual predator from all of us. This man was our friend. To some people, he was their colleague. For some, people trusted him to be around their daughters. And y'all motherfuckers think we're just trying to leech off of you. You know what, Doug, Rob, Michonne, fuck you three. Fuck you three. That's all I gotta say. Fuck you three. Fuck Channel Awesome. Fuck the Nostalgia Break. Just fuck all this shit. I wash my hands with all this shit. I'm done. I'm done. And everybody wants to say, oh, well, it's Mike's fault. It's 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 Mike's fault, but not Doug and Rob. 
they're responsible too. And if you don't want to blame them, you need to just stop. They are to blame for this. They're held accountable. Even though Mike, even though Mike has control of the nostalgic character, is it is it is Doug's fucking company. You know whether whether we all whether we all see that or not, and whether they keep on making those excuses and blah blah, it's still his company, and he and shit like that. And I want you know what I really want. I want, you know, I do want Channel Awesome just, just, di just disband after this. I want Mike to, le I want Mike to leave, right? But I want Mike to like take the rights to the nostalgia critic because I'm telling you, someone's gonna sue that man. You know, someone is going to try and sue that man, and when when they do, he's probably gonna go to jail. I don't know if the I don't know if the walkers will be accomplices in that, but if it happens, it will happen. People always say like, you know, people are saying, you know, I'm not gonna have have this. I'm not gonna have an online friendship anymore because I don't know if my friends are who they say they are. But I'm like, no, my friends. My friends that I have are loyal, they're trusting, I mean, they're trustworthy, and I, I literally, and this is me, I literally trust these guys, I really, I literally trust my friends for my life. I would take a, I'd take a bullet for Vic, I'd take a bullet for Jackie, I'd take a bullet for all my, all my freaking internet friends. Regardless, because I know they do the same for me. I know, I know, Victor. You'd be like, Ugh. and Jack and Jackie, and Jackie would like, and Jackie would be like, Jackie would be trying to pull me out the way and stuff. I know that. Let's see, I. See, I know me. I know those guys. I know J I know Jackie for like two years now. I've known Vic for whew, like he was always a guy that was on and off and on my videos, and you know we'd talk, but I really never knew his name. And then like later on, we you know in Skype we talk formally, mostly about mostly about whatever we want. We just be bullshitting around. I'm saying if you want to give up on the internet friendship stuff, it you know go right ahead. But I'm just telling you, not everybody is Justin. You know, everybody can, it can be a decent human being, and we all have flaws, kids. Not everybody is a rapist, but you should exercise caution when talking to people online. That is the thing you should do. See, I trust, see, my trust with my friends, I built over years and years and years and years. You know? I know their ins, their outs, and everything else. The thing about Justin is, I don't think, I think people knew him, but we really didn't know him. I think someone would have stopped this whole little thing he had going. Like other than the other than the walkers and Machad, I think if someone actually knew and was one of his friends, they would have took his ass to jail. You know, it sucks, and I know you all feel hurt. I know you feel hurt and a whole bunch of other emotions. But listen, for those of you that got inspired by Justin to do your videos, and you feeling like quitting, don't. Even you have some things to still offer these people. 
Yeah, so do I. I was thinking of just being a regular just reviewer and not do any gameplay stuff. But the thing is, I'm a gamer. And I'm not going to let that go just because Justin is like, just because Justin, because just because Justin did a horrible, horrible thing. I'm still going to be me. And I'm still going to be doing my Mario voice for people. It feels, it's horrible. I, my heart goes out to the victims and, you know, Justin's friends who had to hear all this. Because this is, because this is just horrible. I know I defended Justin because when he died, uh, because a lot of people were fucking with a lot of people were just like, oh, he's a hack and all this shit because of that. I, you know, I got mad at that. I got mad at a lot of people. I got mad at a lot of people for just, for just doing those little so-called tributes and having a picture of Justin holding a gun to his head. I, you know, I hated that. You know, because I think that's super disrespectful for a person who died. You know, at the time, that's how I felt. But now it's like, you know what? Keep those little tributes going. <sighs> I was looking at the Social Injustice Warriors um, stream where he was just kind of, when, I don't know, let, either letting people greet, letting people just kind of come to terms with it and while making jokes and stuff. And I just, I wanted to join. I wanted to be like, ah, yeah, you know, be my old, be my old jokey self and just, Go in and be the person I'm, be the person that I am. But I just I couldn't. I couldn't. It was that bad for me. Yesterday was just. Yesterday was horrible, and uh, Trump basically firing on Syria, which was another thing that kind of made me go, "Oh, we're fucked." Ugh, man, I'm not gonna panic about that until some serious shit happens, and then I'm probably gonna make a video on Trump, and oof, that's not gonna be a good one, but, uh, but yeah, so, yeah, it sucks, and just as victims, you have my fucking condolences, and I wish, I wish there was something I could do to help some of you, I really do, like, I really do because one of my one of my things as being a YouTuber is is wanting to help people who have to deal with this from a content creator or something. Because I'm always wanting to help regardless of who you are. And if y'all like I said well I didn't say, um but if you like I always say if you guys need Need to talk to me or anybody? Just, just talk to, talk to me or talk to somebody. I'll, I'll try to help you through it. If you, if you need it. Um, I was kind of, I was so sad and um, out of it. I just didn't feel like doing Saturday afternoon, and I feel, I feel, I feel kind of bad about that because I keep. I keep stopping doing Saturday afternoon, either because something's in the way, or because, or because, you know, something happens, and I also feel bad about that, because it's like, uh, I promise you guys, I promise you guys I'm going to be doing it more consistently now, and now I got this shit, and, uh, one thing I hate is, the one thing that I truly hate is disappointing people. Like that that is what I really hate doing. You know, I hate it. it's a it's a fucked up feeling. I'm just not talking about Justin. I'm just pulling myself away from it, but I'll just I'll I hope that you all can I hope you I hope you guys can I hope, I hope the victims of Justin can look, look past this and have, and you know, get through this and have better lives than what they had. 
a hope that you guys can heal. That you guys can finally heal from this. Because now you don't have to you don't have to hide it or suffer from it. It's all in the open. So I hope you can heal. I hope you can heal from all this. That's all I'm saying. And like I said, Rob, Doug, and Mashad, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Honest to God, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys for all this shit that you just... Rob and Doug, fuck you guys for letting this shit go on. And fuck you, Mashad, for being the most... For being an actual, and I never say this word to people, garbage human being, because I don't like saying freaking words that 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 freaking con woman Anita Sharkeesian said. But you are a garbage human, dude. You are human. You are what we like. You are what I used to call people that were just unredeemable assholes human scum and I hope someone I hope someone sues your ass I hope for the rest of for the rest of you guys I want you to know one thing got your back if you need me and for right now, I'm just taking a break. This is going to be my last video for for at least two days. I'm going to actually try and test some other stuff out to do more videos next week. Or like the following Monday. So uh, yeah, we're going to... So yeah, I'll be back then. But I just need, after this, just two days off. And I'll be back. I'll be back, everybody. This is Bu this is Bugsy No Name saying, "Folks, take care of yourselves and know and know that a fellow content creator wishes he can help all of you." This shit hurts so much. I ain't even talking about it now. I feel like, I feel like my heart's gonna shatter. That's how bad it feels. I thought Justin was my friend. Then I find out all this. So I'm gonna go.